Back here on the island, Scotch broom is a plant that is invasive as it is common. There is an airlift that is fighting the broom right now, and it's all part of Greater Victoria's Mill Hill Park restoration. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports. They carry it by the ton these days, trying to get rid of something that originated in Scotland over a century ago. At Mill Hill Regional Park, they chop, then chopper out, broom in huge bundles from the hillsides. This is part of a decade-long program to keep broom under control in Greater Victoria. We're doing it to try to restore the Gary Oak ecosystems in Mill Hill Regional Park. Um, Gary Oak ecosystems are endangered ecosystems. They're among the most endangered ecosystems in Canada. There's only about 5% of the original extent left. Broom outcompetes other plants, stealing light and nutrients. It spreads like wildfire and frequently becomes a wildfire in summer as brush burns on Vancouver Island. If you don't like broom, you can blame Captain Walter Grant, who in 1849 came to Fort Victoria as a Hudson's Bay Company surveyor and built his estate in Souk. He brought with him three Scotch broom seeds to remind him of his native Scotland. Three seeds that today result in large broom plants that produce as many as 18,000 seeds a season. 160 years after Mr. Grant planted his seeds, they're still cleaning up in View Royal, choppering broom from hillsides to a parking lot where it's trucked away. It was originally slated to be a 12-year project, but I don't foresee it ending at the end of 12 years. We're in our 10th year and I think we're, we're going to be uh, cutting broom in the park for the long haul. Scotch broom is prevalent all down the west coast of North America and in Nova Scotia and the eastern United States as well. It's considered a noxious weed in Washington, Oregon and California, but classified just a nuisance weed in Canada. As for the Mill Hill Park cleanup, broom is being taken to Alpine Disposal where it may be useful. They chip the material and mix it with other wood waste to get proper moisture content to be used as a biofuel. And Mr. Grant and his original broom seeds, he left Vancouver Island in 1853, leaving a dubious legacy behind, something that destroys indigenous plants, native ecosystems and Gary Oak Meadows.